the spring of 2019, a truly monumental scaffold began to rise up around Wentworth Woodhouse in preparation for major restoration work to the roof. With over 700 tonnes of scaffolding and 6,000 scaffold boards, it was second only in scale to the renovation work being undertaken to the Houses of Parliament. The structure included two walkways designed to allow public tour access and two lifts to ensure that visitors with mobility impairments could see the restoration and replacement of the roof as it occurred. Vast reusable tarpaulins protected the historic structure beneath as work on the roof was underway and many of the urns which decorate the parapet were removed to ground level. So uh, at the beginning of the project when we first got here we ascertained that there was 19 urns that needed to be stripped off and removed. So we managed to rig up these stillages which you see around us here, which we managed to secure the urns in situ and then crane off in one unit. Um, we found a lot of issues when we did this um, due to the fact that a lot of the urns had fractured on their necks. So if you see just down here, you can see that the, the actual neck that the main bowl is supported on had snapped right through. So when we lifted them off with a crane, it was quite prevalent that there was no dowel or any fixing through there to support the structure. So luckily we managed to get them to ground level so we can actually re-secure them all. So there have been various types of repairs uh, to each individual urn, they all vary slightly differently. In some areas we've had to replace full sections, full elements, um, and in some of areas just small little indents. Um, we've tried to repair, like this pineapple here, as much of the original stone, dial it back on, resin fix it, and then point it up with mortar. Um, keeping the original elements and, and staying true to its original form. Where we haven't been able to do that, we've managed to splice in some indents. So if you look at this one here, this indent here has been fixed back in using Howley Park sandstone. Um, originally we were specified with Woodkirk sandstone for all of the restoration work on here. However, we found that there was quality issues with the stone. So we went to Howley Park, which is on the same geological scene um, and is a very, very close match. So obviously during the, uh, the beginning of the coronavirus uh, sort of impacting work, we, we started talking between the management and, and ourselves about how we could, during the imminent lockdown, keep works proceeding. Um, obviously there's not a great deal you can do when you've got great big physical lumps of stone to take off the building and reuse. Luckily, because we bought these down early, we managed to take one of these away with us and our subcontractor Mono Masonry managed to work these in their yard whilst we we're all on lockdown. Now various other elements of work regarding the smaller stonework we managed to take away with us. Um, essentially we transported it all away knowing that lockdown was coming, um, got them stored in the yard and then we could work those units back at home. Um, it meant that when we came back we could hit the job back again at full steam. Uh, there was no sort of lag in supply, no lag in what we needed to do. We had all the material here, we managed to preempt it and that was just through pure sort of cooperation between all tradesmen on the job um, and specifically Robert Woodheads themselves. And as a result of excellent planning and outstanding teamwork, the urns have been returned to the parapet absolutely on schedule, even with two periods of national lockdown. <laughs>